With all the options that are available today when it comes to grills, charcoal is still one of the leaders. There's new technology to make that decision even more difficult. So today, I've got two of my char griller grills, the Gravity 980 and my Grand Champ Offset. We're gonna compare both of these smokers and find out which one is best for you. So stick around, see what we've got to say. If you've been following the grill industry for the last couple years, you notice that the Gravity Smokers are the next big thing. There are several manufacturers out there now that are making them, and they're getting to be really popular. One of them being the Char Griller Gravity 980. I've been fortunate enough to have one of these, and I've been cooking on it all summer, so I know all the ins and outs as I've run this thing dozens of times. But then you get to grills like the Char Griller Grand Champ XD Offset Smoker. This is for that weekend warrior, the guy that likes to get out there at three o'clock in the morning, get the fire started and sit next to it in a lawn chair all day. Great options for some people. So we're gonna compare both of these grills, everything that they have to offer and find out which one is for you. So let's get started. Starting with the Char Griller Gravity 980, we come in at $650. With that, you get a grill and a smoker. You've got the capability of 200 to 700 degrees. You've got a 16 pound hopper. And as you would have guessed, you have 980 square inches of cooking surface. That's a little deceiving though. So we're gonna talk a little bit more about that here soon. You've got the Char Griller Grand Champ. This is truly an offset smoker. It comes in at $519 and it doesn't have a lot to offer in terms of features other than being a, a, an absolute tank. This thing is heavy duty coming in at 254 pounds and it offers 1200 square inches of cooking space. And we're gonna talk a little bit more about that in a few minutes as well. Now, both of these grills, primary fuel source is charcoal. The Gravity 980 has a 16 pound hopper in which they recommend running mostly charcoal with a few pounds of hardwood lump or chips mixed in with it. Whereas the Grand Champ, you have a little bit more flexibility, but if you know anything about offset smoking, having a good charcoal bed is a great place to start, especially when you're using a, a smoker like this. Now, both of these grills require you to manually light it. With the Char Griller Gravity 980, just a good fire starter at the bottom of that hopper is all you need. The Char Griller Grand Champ is a little different. You actually need to get in there and you need to get a good bed of charcoal going. Since there's no electronics and really no setup with the firebox, I would recommend you getting a chimney starter. These are fairly inexpensive. And what I like to do is I just set it right down inside of the firebox. I've got my basket in there now, but I normally would take this out. I'd have this full of lump charcoal, set it right there on top of a fire starter and a paper towel with some olive oil on it, and I'd get it lit until it's hot, dump it right in. My suggestion for either of these grills is to get yourself a butane torch. This one's a little small, but I use it for all kinds of things around the house and it works out well. I can get the fire starters going on my gravity grill and I can use it to get my chimney going here on the offset. So when we talk about construction, these are both tanks. The Gravity 980 comes in at 213 pounds. Like I said, this is 254 pounds. I will say this is a very rigid and sturdy grill. The XD in that model name stands for extreme duty and they're referencing the steel, the steel construction of this. It's heavy duty. And it's one of those things, if you take care of it, it'll last you for years and years. The Gravity 980, it has a PID controller. What does that mean? It's like cruise control. You set a temperature, it reads the temperature inside of the pit and makes adjustments of the fan speed to keep you or to get you to that set point. That is something you don't get in an offset. All control is completely manual and it's on you to figure out how to do it and manage it. That's something that for a lot of people is an immediate turnoff. The Char Griller and all of the gravity smokers that are out there today, they're basically your set it and forget it type grills. Once you get the hopper going good and you've got a temperature set and you've got your food in there, it manages the temperature extremely well. You've got Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity so you can monitor it remotely. And truthfully, you can walk away. You can go inside and prepare your food or you can do yard work. I've mowed the grass while my grill's going. When it comes to the offset with the Char Griller Grand Champ, that's something you don't get the freedom of. Now you can, but you don't have as much flexibility. To give yourself the kind of 
ease of use that you would get with a grill like that, you need to get yourself some, a probe setup. I've got the Thermoworks Signals here. This is a four channel probe setup. Whenever I cook on this Grand Champ, I have two chamber probes, essentially ambient air probes that I run on the left and to the right of the grill. And I'm monitoring temperature. I'm making sure that it's within set point and that it's fairly even across the, the grill surface or the cooking surface. And that is very key. Then I use the other two probes to monitor my internal temperatures on my meat so I can check the progress along the way. That's something that I don't have to do on the Char Griller Gravity 980. It has two built-in meat probes. And like I said, it's got that PID controller. So it's doing most of the work for you. When it comes to the Gravity 980, space is something that's always on my mind, and it is a little deceiving, so I'm gonna talk about that today. You have 980 square inches of cooking surface, but only 680 of that is your main cooking surface. They have this little half shelf that they include. Now, while this works for some things, it doesn't work for everything. If I wanted to load this grill up with whole chickens, I only have the main cooking surface. If I wanted to do a brisket or two or three or four, really I only have that main cooking surface. This isn't gonna serve me any purpose. It works as a warming rack. It works with ribs if you're gonna be rotating them around or other vegetables or other side dishes. But for me, I spend a lot of times cooking on this without the upper rack. So that brings me to the Char Griller Grand Champ. We've got 1,200 square inches of cooking surface, 780 of them being on this main rack on the bottom, and the other 420 come from the upper shelf. And because of the size of this and the depth, you actually do get the ability to cook, you know, more protein by using this shelf. So I would say space-wise, obviously 1,200 square inches versus 980 it's great, but truthfully, in my mind of usable space, that's more like 680 versus 1200. Both of these grills have foldable front shelves, which I'll be honest with you, are great, but at the same time, they should have been about four or six inches deeper. Because if you put a tray of meat up here, you have to worry about this handle. You really only get about six inches of space here where you're not hitting it with the handle and balancing a cutting board or some kind of serving tray while you're taking food off or putting food on can be challenging, and I've almost dumped it a few times. And the same goes for this. It easily could have been another six inches and it would be absolutely no problem. But I would rather have it the way it is than not have it at all. One of the biggest differences, and you know, sometimes overlooked by some people, is the fact that this relies on electricity. You physically have to have a power cord or an extension cord to be able to operate this grill. This one here, needs nothing. It needs you, it needs air, and it needs charcoal, and obviously some food too. So I talked about the Char Griller Gravity 980, and this really pertains to any gravity style smoker. You have the ability to set it and forget it. You load that hopper up, you set a temperature, and as long as you got that hopper going good before you walk away, you've got hours and hours and hours of time where you don't have to worry about fire management. If you're familiar with offset smokers, it takes, it's a science. It's really a science of getting that air and exhaust mixture to get it just right. So actually what I've done is I've marked notches here on the exhaust and I've not put notches there on the intake. And what I did when I ran some temperature tests is I marked where I found equilibrium with some different temperatures. So at 250 degrees, at 225 degrees, at 200 degrees, I mark those positions on my air intake to give me a good starting spot. The truth is there are so many environmental factors, direct sunlight, is it windy, is it humid? There are so many factors in which that won't be accurate, but at least I'll have a place to start. That's what makes fire management a little difficult. Now it depends on your grill, the gauge of the steel, there's so many things, but these are beginner pits. We'll be honest with you, both of these are beginner pits. At the five to $600 range, it's not breaking anybody's bank. Some of the more expensive ones hold temperature even better, but these are your ordinary people kind of grills. Looking like a traditional offset smoker can be a little deceiving because you can actually grill on this too and do some direct and indirect heat. There is a pan in the bottom that allows you to load it with charcoal and you can actually cook right above a live fire. The truth is for me though, I'm using this as a smoker. I'm not using it as a grill. If I want a grill, I want a charcoal grill, I'm running the Gravity Series. You know why? Because it doesn't matter. I put it, I load it up, I set a temperature, 
I throw the meat on there, that's one thing. When it comes to smoking, even though they run the same fuel, this thing is the grand champ. I can tell you 100% that I can tell the difference between the food that comes off of the gravity versus the offset. But this isn't for everyone. Managing a live fire can be difficult, it can be cumbersome, and truthfully, none of us have enough time. And that's really what it boils down to. I can have this thing ready in 10 minutes. I am cooking in 12 minutes. This might be 15, might be 20, might be 30. And in all honesty, when I'm gonna be cooking on this, I get this thing running an hour ahead of time. And that's where I find my most success. I talked about temperature control, but I really didn't talk about how they're different and how that can affect your cooking. The Char Griller Gravity 980 has a set point range of 200 to 700 degrees. So you can do everything from a smoke or low and slow all the way up to a, a hot sear. With the offset, you get a little bit more flexibility, but for me, in terms of smoking, where I find this most beneficial is the fact that I can do a cold smoke. I can smoke at under 100 degrees, which is something that I could never accomplish with the Char Griller Gravity 980. You know, cold smoking salmon, cold smoking cheese. These are things that I've wanted to do and I physically can't with any of the grills that I previously had. So that, for me, is a big selling point. I can control my own fire, I can control my own temperature, I can cook anything that I want. And that's, that, that's awesome. You know, I talked about shortcomings of these grills and equally, they both could have a bigger front folding shelf. I talked about that half shelf or upper shelf, how it, for me it isn't a lot of usable space. And, and that is the truth. But there are a few shortcomings, I think, of the Grand Champ as well. First of all, there are no probe ports. There's nowhere to run the probes through the side, so therefore they have to be pinched in the lid. I am running every single time a minimum of two and usually four probes. So that means all four wires are getting smashed in the lid. And this is a pretty heavy duty lid. I just have to be careful when I'm doing it. Now the other thing, there are no caster wheels on this. This thing is 254 pounds. It's a pretty heavy grill. It is a heavy grill. And if, if you're not strong or you have to maneuver this in tight spaces, it could be a challenge for you. The Char Griller Gravity 980, they've got caster wheels, so you can easily maneuver this through your garage, your patio, wherever you need, and you don't have to physically lift anything up. And I think having caster wheels on this would make for a much better experience. One of the questions that I get all the time when it comes to these grills is how well do they hold up? How well do they hold up? How does it do in the weather? How long do you think this thing's gonna last me? And the truth is, I don't know. I don't know the answer to any of those questions because I haven't had them long enough. But I'm in a unique situation where I have a large enough garage that I can keep all of my grills and pits inside when I'm not using them so they're not in the snow, they're not in the rain, they're not out getting weathered and in the elements. I will tell you that overall, the Grand Champ is a sturdier grill. It is a more heavy duty, remember that extreme duty steel that they use. I think in terms of the quality of material, that's gonna hold up longer, but they also don't have the electronics or the moving parts like the fan that this one does. So truthfully, there's not a whole lot that can go wrong with this. And if it were to rust because it was out in the elements, just get some heat resistant paint and clean up the rust, paint it over, no problem. This thing will last you for years if you want it to. I'd like to say the same thing about the Char Griller Gravity 980. I think it's made well, I just haven't seen it out in the elements because like I said, I keep mine inside. It does have the electronics and it does have the moving parts, so there is more to go wrong essentially. But from everything that I've heard and everything that I've dealt with, Char Griller has great customer service. So if you do have an issue with it, reach out and I'm sure they'll help get it set straight. People ask me all the time about modifications. What modifications have you done? What modifications are you gonna do? And the truth is I haven't really done anything to either, but I did do the same thing to both and that is install gaskets where they needed them most. For this, the hopper and the ash clean out. When it comes to shutting this grill down, if you don't have a good seal and you still allow air to get in, that charcoal will remain burning for a long time and it'll remain hot for a long time. So if I open this up, I have put gaskets, my own gaskets in here, and that has made a much better seal and truthfully shut down is much easier. I don't see any smoke leaking out. I mentioned shutdown. This thing here, you don't shut it down. You let it burn out. You let it cool down and you put it away. And for me, depending on when food's getting done, I've left it out all night. And thankfully, it didn't rain that night. I didn't have to worry about any of that. 
I didn't have to worry about a seal on the lid, but on the firebox, I had to install the same gaskets at the top here because I was getting a lot of smoke creeping out the back of this firebox lid. So if you're looking to get into the charcoal game and you're looking to get into one of these barrel type smokers, you gotta ask yourself one question. Do I want it to set it or forget it? Or do I wanna be a weekend warrior? Do I want to manage my own fire? Do I want people to know that I've been out there raking the coals all night to get that brisket ready? That's up to you. I personally think they both cook great food. Every experience that I've had with both has been great. I do think that the offset style smoker that they have here with the Grand Champ produces a smokier, better flavor. It's not that drastic of a difference between that and the Gravity 980. If you're a technology guy like me and you like apps and you like to play around with things and electronics, then maybe the Gravity 980 is the one for you. But if you're looking for that true backyard barbecue, manage the fire, be the hero of the family, it might just be the offset. I know that ever since I got this, it has been my number one priority to figure out what I'm gonna cook next. If you like these technical overviews or you like good barbecue, then be sure to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time at Anderson Smoke Show.